The Alps have a sensitive ecosystem through which more than two million lorries pass every year. This road freight traffic causes traffic jams, noise and environmental pollution. To counteract this, a European project called Alpino CT is aiming to increase the efficiency of combined transport, where at least two different types of transport are used consecutively. However, 95% of trailers are not designed to be transferred from lorry to train. In recent years, a solution to this problem has been found in the Krasa platforms that are at the heart of this project. Our goal when we developed Nikrasa was to develop a platform that covers most types of trailers. Today, about 94% of the existing trailers on the road can be loaded with Nikrasa. Nikrasa platforms like this one near Munich operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Five Alpine countries, Germany, Austria, Italy, Slovenia and Switzerland, are taking part in Alpino CT. The total budget for the project is just over 3 million euros, 2.5 million of which is financed by the European Cohesion Policy. Some of the project's key goals are to reduce storage times and to construct new terminals and manoeuvring areas. The 15 Alpino CT partners share the project's recommendations and guidelines. Carl Fischer leads the project and he says the challenges of intermodal transport are both economic and environmental. In the Alpine region, we can fit 30 trailers into one train. We can therefore save 29 truck drivers with one locomotive driver. This is an important contribution to the economy. We have no more truck drivers, so we have a factor of 1 to 29. And we can reduce CO2 by 80% by transferring the goods to the train with less personnel costs. However, from a road transport perspective, Managers like Thomas Erbel point out that international transport is subject to strict regulations that vary from country to country. Flexibility is the most important thing that the market demands. Our benchmark is the road, and if the railways are to follow suit, they must be flexible. Logistics and transport companies must also be flexible. The European Union's goal is to shift 30% of road freight transport to rail or waterways by 2030.